Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to be talking about your screen resolution. On your computer monitor, you might find that maybe things are just too big and cutting off the screen, or maybe it's too small and you can't quite see it. And there's a couple of things that you can do to adjust that so that you can see things better. And also noting that it can change the quality of the text and images on your screen when you do that. So we got an example of a screen resolution of 800 by 600 versus a 1280 by 960, which you can see it allows a lot more space for things to fit on your screen. But what if a 1280 by 960 with 150% zoom, it's taken up all the screen again and looks almost exactly the same as the 800 by 600. So what we got currently here now is a 800 by 600 and it's 100% zoom. So let's look at how to change this. I'm going to minimize that for now. If we right click on the desktop, we got display settings. And if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see the display resolution here. There's also the zoom you might see, but it's grayed out right now because you can't zoom in with this kind of resolution. So it, it's unavailable. So we'll go into the 800 by 600 and you have a few options depending on your monitor and what its capabilities are and the capabilities of your video card. You will have more or less options for this drop down menu of the screen resolution. So we'll choose the top one here and it asks you to keep the settings otherwise if you don't choose an option it's going to go back to the way it was and it counts down how many seconds you have left to choose so I'm going to keep the changes and so now this is available for the uh, zoom level and we've got our new display resolution so let's minimize this for now and bring this back up and we can see that we've got a lot more space on the screen let's minimize this go back into our display settings so we're looking at the scale and layout we're able to zoom I have the options for 100 125 and 150 percent you might have more options available to go up to maybe even 200 percent or more just because the quality of your video card and monitor combined may have screen resolutions that are set so high that if you cranked it up all the way it would be so small that you can't read it and so you would have to zoom in so a quick sidebar here is that why would they would have it so high is just to improve the quality of it so the higher the resolution the better the quality so you'd have to zoom in Otherwise, if you just leave it at 100% and reduce the screen resolution, then you're going to lose quality. So you have to look at both and see what you prefer. I'm going to crank this up to 150%. We can already see this jump like that. So I'm going to minimize that and go back to our original view with the Explorer window open. And we can see that it's taking up as much space pretty well almost exactly the same as it was when it was uh, 800 by 600 with a hundred percent zoom level let's go back into our display settings one more time I'm going to go back to 100 percent just to start from there there is advanced scaling settings so if you go in here you can uh, let windows try to fix apps so they're not blurry so that's on you also have a custom zoom level which you could change manually in here and it shows from 100 to 500 not recommended so let's try typing in something here Now it says the custom scale factor won't be applied until you sign out. So we'll have to sign out and sign back in again. We can already see this looks crazy big. And if we open our Explorer window, it's uh, taking up the entire screen. So we'll go back to our display settings 
and it's so big it's kind of hard to even see where things are you got to scroll down and this shows 150% uh, grayed out but it does tell us that there is a custom scale factor set so we can turn off the custom scaling and sign out or we can go down here and change the custom scaling so I'm gonna turn this off because this is crazy big and now we're back to a, a nice screen that I like so this is all personal preference for you so you can play around with this now that you know how to change your screen resolution and the zoom levels including the advanced scaling so if you found this video helpful please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next one bye for now